kick off. Keith Williams finds a seam. Gets away from Huerta. And down at the 44-yard line of Miami. What a great way to start the half. Second half. Best field position to start a possession today for San Diego State. A 54-yard kickoff return. McGuire, incomplete. Jimmy Ray was free down the middle but couldn't squeeze it. Daryl Weaver's on both sides thinking about what might happen after they catch the ball. T.C. Wright. Looked like a face mask, and indeed it was. As we the Dan McGuire has to make something happen. Try to get the ball to Patrick Rowe or Jimmy Ray. McGuire. All kinds of running room. First down. T.C. Wright. Touchdown! What a run! Trackus to tie the game. One of the greatest 10 yard touchdown runs you'll see. Ties the game at 20. 20. And Miami is looking at third and 10 from the 11 of San Diego State. Watch Lamar Thomas, number 36, at the top of your screen. Touchdown, Randall Hill. Boy, good call by Dennis Erickson. Both, they ran posts on both sides, and he came to the short side of the field and hit Randall Hill against Gary Taylor. Huerta. Gives Miami a seven-point lead, 27-20, with 6.04 left of the third quarter. Huerta, line drive kick. No chance for Keith Williams, first and 10 from the 20. We invite McGuire behind his intended target, Airy. Jimmy Ray couldn't get to the stick. He was driven back by Ryan McNeil. That's McGuire's first completion this half. He's now one of four. Two tight ends. Right gets outside. First down. Eight yards in this particular game. People have had very difficult time running against Miami, but San Diego State, because of their play mix and the threat of the pass, has opened up the run. McGuire lost the snap, and the Canes recover. How to take advantage of the turnovers. Open is McGuire. Ten, 10 from the 13. McGuire. Got to the 11. The angle of Roland Smith. Blitz. Ooh, what a hit. Jason Sweeney drilled him at the five-yard line. Short of a first down. By Harry Lamb, the defensive coordinator, has to feel good about the effort he's getting out of this defense. Movement in the line. Flag flies. Puerta. A 22-yarder is good. The Miami lead is 10 with 3.02 to play in the third quarter. And it's Miami leading 10 by 10, 30 to 20, with three minutes left in the third quarter. On the ground with Booker, he got to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. In practice, 
McGuire for Rowe, first down. It's of the third quarter. McGuire, deep. Rowe is open. First down. To be impressed with, not the chicken, but you're impressed with the strong arm of Dan McGuire. Watch, he's going to throw a fade route, which is very difficult. The receiver sits in the hole of the two deep cover. Look at the strength in throwing this ball to Patrick Rowe. Eleven NFL teams are represented here today. McGuire threw it short of Jim. First down. Quarter. Miami 30, San Diego State 20 with 15 minutes to play at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego. Yard field goal try for Andy Trackus. He's been perfect today. A short 38-yard field goal attempt. To cut the lead to seven. No good. A pop. Third and a short four. All out blitz, and it is caught for the first down. Randall Hill. Yeah. It's a blitz read all the way by Craig Erickson. He saw the blitz coming. Both his receivers. Moving to the line. No flags. McGuire didn't get there. Tracy Mao, Andy Coviello, Jason Sweeney, all in the neighborhood. Pump fake. He's looking deep for Rowe. Incomplete. Had his hands on it and couldn't squeeze it. Egan Bill has decided to stay with his decision to kick the field goal. I guess he feels a 54-yard field goal is a higher percentage play than picking up a third and ten. Well, he knows he's missed two in a row, so he's counting on him to hit this one to put him within a distance where they can win the football game. That's his whole decision. Rather than be in a situation fourth and ten. It is no good. Underneath, Airy. Weaves for the first down and more. Airy picks up a block. Dennis Airy out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Draw play, big hole. T.C. Wright. Down to Luganville wouldn't do to have just one of those three missed field goals. Underneath, roll, first down. Record-setting season for Patrick Roll. He has broken the WAC record, record set by New Mexico's Terrence Mathis last year. That time the run did not fool Miami. McGuire. Now you gotta have somebody move. Touchdown! Dennis Airy. They're going to go for two because Al Luganville wants to win it with a field goal. That's why the time clock didn't start on the play. Miami gets a guy in late on the field also, Charles Farms. He just came on to the field, number two. McGuire. Still alive, gets it off, and they get the two. Jim Hanawalt, the two-point conversion, oh. and again a tremendous play by Dan McGuire, and now there's a skirmish, and the benches are emptying. I'll tell you what happened, Sean, after the play, a Miami player threw Dan McGuire down. Nick Subas, number 60, jumped on that player, and we've got ourselves everybody on the field. This is what you hate as a coach. They slam McGuire to the turf. The good news is he's up. There was a flag with that original play, and then this is what ensued, and they're still going at it. And the wise thing for the coaches to get out of there because they don't have a helmet on. I'll tell you, Jerry Burns of Temple in Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago got cold cocked on the sideline. And McGuire. Looking for his receiver. Scrambles by some time. Now the receivers start to move. Conversion. Watch Dan McGuire. Same situation early. 6'8. They can't bring him down. Russell Maryland's got him here. He should be able to drop him. 
He gets away from it, flips the ball over to his tight end, Jim Hanawalt. He gets in on the two-point. Now the scuffle occurs back where Dan McGuire's at. There's a chicken. He wants to take somebody on. Well, the officials are still talking this over. Here's Jack Baker. Oh, they can't do this. The, ref the official's in the way of the kick in the football. The average team has had the warm-up. It squirts through, and it looked like Ryan McNeil came up with the ball for Miami. It bounced up into the lap of Ryan yeah. McNeil, and it did. Clock against an eight-man front. Snyder gets it off. The only problem with that is it's going to take a long time for that ball to bounce. That's right. They can let it roll as long as they want. He just got to air it out. Underneath, Patrick Rowe. It's the ball. We'll be back in a moment.